Hi, this is Rebecca Flack from the Retail Council of New York State and I Shop New York. We are in Yonkers now. We are in the Blossom Flower Shop, Floral Shop, right? Flower Shop. Flower Shop. And I'm with Kevin Keegan, owner of the business, and it smells heavenly in here. <laughs> and it's filled with beautiful uh, sights and sounds. So tell us about this this multi-generation business and how it got started. Well, my grandfather started the business back in 1925. Um, he was down at Fordham Road and Webster Avenue. Um, my dad joined on back then. And they opened up another shop in Yonkers uh, back in the early 60s. And then my dad had originally say, five shops back then. Um, my grandfather retired. I always worked in the flower shop all my life. I grew up in the Maranek and took the train or the bus down to the Fordham Road and Webster and worked in the shop when I was younger. And um, just learned the trade. I kind of born into it. And um, so, I guess around 1970 or so, my dad one day said, I'm retiring, son, and here you go. And I took over with my wife, 21 years old. Um, and we just started building the business and creating new possibilities in the floral industry, uh, from weddings and funerals uh, to consumerism. So if you needed flowers delivered within three hours, we were it. And, um, one of the first flower shops to have computerized, they used us as a model or a guinea pig uh, in designing the floral system uh, point of sale. Um, back in the early days when we were on the internet with just a dumb terminal and a modem, that was back about 30 years ago, uh, we were still pioneering how to make this whole thing work. And now whoever knew you'd be buying flowers online and sending them across the country as fast as you possibly could and that's it you know so we uh, back in 2000 we had a company called shopping cart 2000 they were way ahead of their time we actually jumped aboard with the internet and uh, funded their whole shopping cart and that was even before the internet was even uh, started so tell us about your customer base because you're open seven days a week. Correct. People can shop online too, but a lot of your business is cash and carry. People come in who live, I'm assuming, in the area. Correct. This, this area around here at Woodlawn, we call it County Woodlawn. It's in a very big Irish neighborhood, um, Queen Avenue. Um, this store, a lot of families, a lot of uh, babies, families. There's a festival that goes on on Queen Avenue. So it's a very, it's a very tight community. A lot of, um, well, again, families. Uh, in the White Plains store, in White Plains, New York, on the Maronic Avenue, it's more of a commercial type trade. So we have two different types of trade. That store is open six days a week. It doesn't need to be open on Sunday, um, you know, due to the fact that it's mostly corporate. But it's pretty unusual for a floral shop to be open on a Sunday. Or, or is it? Or is it not? Um, I think my grandfather always said to me that if you're open on Sunday and everyone else is closed, you win. <laughs> that, that's right, absolutely. And there's a lot of birthday yeah. parties Birth and festivities. Everybody has a birthday every day of the week, and it's Sunday. And actually, the weekends are very busy for us. Um, we still we deliver. Again, we can deliver flowers in under th about. We, we give it three hours. So if somebody calls up, we're going to tell them, it's, "Give us three hours, we'll get the flowers delivered." And we're the last minute thought. You forgot your mom's birthday, or you know your wife's anniversary, or something. Call us up, and we'll get it done. And online, anyway, it's not just flowers or dish gardens and live plants. You also do add-on gifts like plush. You can see that there's plush, plush behind us here, or you will shortly. Yes. Um, and flowers, wheels. You have. Um, we do lobsters. Uh, we do drop ship lobster dinners. We do steak dinners. We do. Um, all different uh, items online. Anything you can do as a gift item. Um, we have Carrie Lennox, uh, right. vases, uh, Godiva chocolates. So we try to take ourselves up a notch uh, on the product that you would rather give, you know, to your person or loved one. Um, so. And I'm assuming balloons. I see a balloon. Display. Balloons as an add-on. You can we sell an arrangement, a nice, beautiful arrangement. You can add three balloons to it, which adds, makes it a little more festive. Um, and again, enclosure cards, uh, nice enclosure cards you can add to it. Um, and we have this yes we can florist attitude. So you call us and we used every one of the employees that I have working for me have a yes we can. If we can't get it done right away, we're going to figure out how to do it. And then 
we go we keep that in the back burner in the store saying if someone calls they call for a reason and yes we're going to get it done so tell me the wedding industry must be a large component or a decent sure. component of your of your business so how do you cater to brides and grooms we have a separate event planner that she's just allocated to doing events and weddings so when you call up we'll sit down have an appointment with you set it all up in a nice, you know, in a nice atmosphere. Um, we suggest that you, the brides go out and get all the information they possibly can so when they come in, they're ready. And if we start asking you questions, you'll know colors, we know dress styles, um, and we can kind of put, you know, coordinate the whole wedding to make it work. And you, got, you obviously go right to the venue, deliver oh, to both churches oh, and reception sure. sites. We take care of take care of all of it because on a busy wedding day you don't need the bride the, and somebody else making the flowers that's not what they should be doing and there's a lot of it takes a lot of creativity to put a wedding together people go to stores buy flowers and say I'll make the arrangements and we've had so many people come in the day before going this isn't working but this is not working so the day before we're making all their, their arrangements for their for their wedding. Something that so, they were trying to, to cobble to, together on their own. On their and own. It wasn't and they couldn't put all the pieces together. And there's a lot of pieces to a wedding. Um, they have table arrangements, you have the wedding bouquets. Every flower is different and everyone reacts in a different way. So you can have 25 roses in your wedding bouquet and you can only buy 25. You may only be able to use 14 or 15 of them. It takes a trained professional to do floral design. The amateur Correct. isn't going to be able Correct. to put together something that they're going to be happy with, I suspect. Exactly. For there's, a train, there's a trained eye. Okay. And every one of the uh, designers that we have working for us have all been working for us probably about five to seven years as the earliest one, up to uh, Kathy. Geez, yeah, that would be close like 30 years. <laughs> Um, so we've got, a, there's a lot of talent, and they know how all the nooks and crannies, how everything works, how colors balance each other off, how the flowers react. How long they'll last, how Correct. particular flowers will last under yeah. certain weather conditions. Yeah, we just did flowers yeah. for four weddings. It's on TLC. It's a oh, reality yeah. show. Okay, so very cool. I just got, we just got finished doing that. We do their finales. Yeah, I know. So that's up in Salzburg, New York. Okay. So we do all the flowers for that. We have another one on Wednesday. So. That's pretty interesting. I bet, I bet it probably is. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of work. <laughs> and they've tried to have them do it themselves, and they can't. You know, so so your, awesome. your flower designers, are they, are they um, trained in-house in by more experienced designers? Do some of them come out of the floral design there's, education system? Or? Um, there's not a lot of floral education design. It's not like the restaurant business where you go to school for restaurants. A lot of it is, um, yeah, learn by doing. Yeah. You know, here in the flower shop, um, we read through every one of our employees and our designers. And some have it, some don't. Um, the, the ones that have it, we put a lot of pressure on training them, and um, and they love it. Our delivery staff, um, they love delivering flowers to people because they see smiles on people's faces when they give give the bouquet to someone in the hospital. And they walk in, they get a big smile. Uh, drivers always come back uh, saying, "Oh." You know, they made it, they made their debt, and um, we have a big following that way. Uh, even if we're going to a funeral or sympathy, they'll come back and say, you know, thank you, you know, to us you. or to the driver, and he brings it back home, yeah. and it's a good feeling. Well, that's what a rewarding business to be sure. in to make people feel good oh, sure. or better or congratulate yes. them and wish them well. Yeah, yeah. but sure. it sounds like an awesome career. It is. It is. I've again. I've been in it all my life. It's kind of what I know. Um, and my wife's been in the business. We're married 34 years, and she's been right alongside for 40 years. And, so, and she's actually does all the windows, and she's she's like the head designer. And then she starts she starts the wheels rolling. So. Well, if you're looking for whether it's fresh cut flowers or an arrangement or a dish garden or go online and, and do some shopping with Blossom Flower Shop, it's, they've got a lot to offer and a lot of experience to do it for you and do a great job for you. Or just call us. We're here, again, seven days a week. You'll always find somebody very pleasant with that yes we can florist attitude. Um, and we're here to make sure that your flower gift or your flowers you're going to take home are perfect. So what's your website address? It's blossomflower.com.
there we go, blossomflower.com. Thanks for watching.